Do you remember when you tried to involve me in your foolishness when you was beefing my girl? There's been many. <laughs> Which one? All of them. But and and the thing is, you un, you need to understand that men should not be involved in girls' issues. I don't agree. What do you mean? If someone disrespects me, Adrian, someone could be very rude to me. Yeah. T- yesterday, yeah. Okay. Tomorrow you'll go. Oh, walk well, one, man. You good, yeah? yeah. You good. That's because what you do. I am not beefing. Who you're beefing? They disrespected your wife. Yeah. So go and deal with it. If now, if it's a man, it's different. Adrian, How can a man it's, it's go not, and G-check? I'm not saying G-check a woman. Have, I'm not saying G-check a woman. So what is but you saying? can't be over-friendly. You oh, can't be okay, friendly. Okay, I'm not being over-friendly, but I'm going to be the same. Don't be friend. No, you can't be the same. Yeah, I can. Because now it's war between me and this person. Do I expect you, if, I, if I'm beefing someone, a man, do I expect you to act different? You don't expect, but I do act different. That's your problem. No, 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 because I've got your back. You know I'm a ride or die. You see, so you see I like really ride or die for you. People... I want, I, do I not I want, ride or die for you? All right, yeah. You ride, ride or die for me. Period. So do I not ride or die for no. you? No. I don't ride or die for you. How? So me not beefing a woman. Listen to what you're saying. I'm not asking you to beef them. What I'm saying is change your behaviour. They can't be... You can't be friendly with them. Yes, I can. Like Ella from Love Island said, you can't be friendly. You can't be friendly. That's my Scottish accent. Well, that was you awful. can't be friendly. You can't be friendly with them. If... Adrian, the worst thing is you're saying if... if um. If I'm chatting to someone, yeah. I should go deal with them, yeah? yeah? I should deal with them. Yeah. But when I come to you and I say, Adrian, this person has done, this person has do this, you say, pray about it, babe. God not, would want you to forgive. Not all the time. You need to forgive, You've babe. You've got two options, You're yeah? taking it personal, babe. Everyone no. has two options. The woman just... Either make up or break up. If you're going to break up, do your thing. If break you're going to make up, hurry up and make off. up. That's it. Cut it off. But you don't expect me to jump on your bandwagon. No, you need to Especially jump on if it. you're in the wrong. Bad times you've been in the wrong. Bad times. Me? What? Bro, bear times stop it. Wrong. Stop it. Bear times. Bear times. Sarah. Adrian, stop it. Stop it now. You're very linear minded. Like, look, everyone, yeah, everyone on this earth is on the spectrum somewhere. I'm on this side, you're on that side. You've got some sort of discombobulation in your the way you think. No. Because what the way you think about relationship is like everyone should have your mindset. But your mindset is pretty wrong. No, my mindset is not wrong. It's awful. How many friends you got? Five. Do you speak to anyone that you went to school with? No, because I went to nine schools. Do you speak to one that you went to college with? Time and sometimes. Uni? Sometimes. Sometimes? Mm-hmm. Who? Weezy. You couldn't name them. Weezy. No, no, no. You see me? I'm a man that doesn't have best Asia friends. won't change his phone number, yeah? From listen, when he listen, was in listen. secondary school, just in case someone calls him. That's not why. What does that mean? I want to keep my phone he number gets because bare... it's my phone number. I've had it for no. years. No, Adrian gets Just like you tried from... to contact someone. Adrian, Listen, Adrian... Sh- <laughs> no. Quiet. Fingers on lips. You tried to contact someone the other day. You haven't spoken to them in how many years? 15. 15 years. The number still remains the same. And why? I don't know. You don't know why? I'm not But him. you was able to contact them. All I'm saying is, yeah. You was able to contact them? Yeah, I was able to contact and you're them. And you were very ex- excited. Well, ecstatic or excited? Which one? <laughs> Furthermore, you stuff out your mouth. Atri- <laughs> it's called grills. Not everybody should have you access to me. You change your number like you're on the Not right. Everybody should have access to me. contact me like, bro, I beg you told Tara. Not everyone gets Tara, access to me. Tara, just go and speak. Not everyone gets if access to me. If I open your phone me. now, you've got Adrian about 200 thinks, unread messages. Adrian thinks. And then you turn oh, up to people. This guy's not letting me talk. No, I'm not. You're not you letting me talk. You turn up and it's like, oh, do you get a message? Oh, babe, do you know what it is? No, Always I never Always got an excuse. I never act. Always got an excuse. I never act. I'm like, babe, I beg you respond. He's not letting me talk. I'm not. Because you're weird. Adrian, Your process is weird. Adrian. Get some money. Adrian, Adrian has this idea that every should, everybody should be able to have access to you. If I don't want you to have my number, you're not gonna have my number. If I change my that's number, fair. if I change my number four times in a year, that's my prerogative. Not everybody that's can call weird. my phone. That's not weird. everybody can call my phone. That's weird. You don't have access to me like that. To have access to me is a prior like it's it's a privilege. For me to have access to you, David, is a privilege. For me to have access to you, Nick, is a privilege. For me to have access to you is a privilege. You can't just have privilege and access to me. Absolutely not. If someone has Let your me number, finish, they, they should be able to have access to you. I'm so I changed anyone... it. I've, I, and then I changed my number because you know what? My number's got too exposed now. Too many people can contact me. <laughs> With your five friends? Adrian, come on. I have five close friends, like right. really, really close friends. And if they message you, do you message them straight away? No. Why not? Because maybe I don't want to. Maybe I'm busy. Maybe I'm like, oh, I'll just catch you when I see them. And you lied because you said About when people go, oh my gosh, Tara, did you get my message? I don't yeah. go, oh, babe, I do this. I will literally walk into a room and be like, hey, listen, you messaged me. 
to answer your message, bloody, bloody, blah, this is the answer to your message because I don't want to speak. I don't want to speak. I don't understand why it's a big problem. Adrian gets so ticked because off. Because you Adrian gets be so, annoyed I'm not if annoyed. someone done that to you. I'm not. I've seen you get annoyed. No. You're like, hold on. They, they asked me for something. I've given it to them and they didn't even respond. That's a lie. I don't even need anyone oh, to say thank you. It's a lie. You're lying. Days. That's really bad. Oh, I've seen it. That's a sin. You should pray. You should repent. God Are is not right? happy. Yeah, he's not happy. You oh, should fix it. Back onto what you. I was saying. Adrian is not a ride or die. Yeah. <sighs> if someone is disrespectful to me, Adrian will be like... If, to get it correct. If a woman... If if a, that you are beefing. No, because even one of our friends, even one of our you. friends that is a man, yeah. we was in, we was chilling with them. We was in a group of people and he said, oh, Tara, stop talking because you're annoying me now. Is Do that you know, disrespectful? Knowing the relationship, is he your brother? Is he your brother? Are we blood related? He ain't my brother. Mm, mm, no, 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 no. He said, oh, Tara, allow it. You're annoying me. Make a What's woman, say, make a woman like? say that to you. What is the relationship? Make a woman Touch say that again. to you. Move your hand. Make a, woman, like? make a woman say that to you, Adrian, it's a problem. I'll be like, what? This is what I'm saying. You got, you got a chip on your shoulder. <sighs> you got a chip on your shoulder. For someone who's got a chip on their shoulder and someone whose mind is discombobulated and someone... You have so many negative things to say about me. That is brazy. In this situation, yeah. No, Adrian, because I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. You if are. No, I'm not. You are. I'm not. I'm not. Just imagine. I'm not saying go you know and punch up a like? woman. I'm not saying go punch up a woman. I'm not saying you any of that. should be involved. What I'm saying to you is, Adrian, when someone is rude or disrespectful to me. A woman, yeah. A woman is disrespectful to me. Mm -hmm. There is no way on God's green earth mm -hmm. that you should be hugging her the week later no, that you no, see no. her. No, no, no. Definitely not hugging. You're right. But I'm you gonna good? Be, I'm going to be, my, there will be no change in my behavior. So if I hugged her before, I'm, I'm still going to greet her. I might not hug her. What if but she I'm not going to be rude Oh my to gosh, her. Tara, you fat cow. No, listen. What would you do? Would you hug her? No, I like, what I do, I look at you and expect... No, we're not there. We're not there. We're not, we're, no, it's happened. Me and her have had this conversation. Yeah. Oh, Tara, shut up. You're such an idiot. Yeah. You're not loyal. Mm -hmm. You're not this. Okay. You're not that. Someone okay. does that. Do so what you, do you say? No, no, no. I've argued back. Okay. I come home, I tell you about the argument. argument. Probably. You won I've the come argument. home, I've won the argument. So when you see her next so I'm, week, I'm exactly and she same. says to you, oh my I'm gosh, exactly hey, the same. lunch. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I'm exactly oh the same. You're going to be very nice. I'm going to be, I'm going to be exactly the same. Told you, it's not a ride or die. Why is that not a ride or die? You won the argument. Doesn't matter. What do you want me to do? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What is it you want me to do? I am meant to be the most precious thing to you. You are. God said what? like rubies and diamonds. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take it to church. Take it You there. are meant to protect me. Facts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are not meant to allow him because when you when you when you nice them up like that, they think, oh, so yeah, I could just you've given them an allowance to disrespect me even more. Listen, if you've won that battle, they know what's. They to said come. when when they come over and so, they say hello to you, they said, yeah, Tara's husband ain't even serious, man. That you think? All right, so give me the rundown. What would you expect me to do in that situation? Um, you're right. That's that's it. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's a lie. That's it. But you want me? You would want me to be rude? No, 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 no. I don't need you to be rude. I can handle myself, bro. I can handle myself. If you can handle myself. I've never why needed am I you to fight my war. What I'm saying is, you can't be pally pally with them. There's no pally pally business. There's none. Listen. If someone's disrespecting me, do you know what you do? You do this. You good? How's everything? Great. That's it. Not. Yo, you good? Hug. You're no, right. Yeah. I'm not gonna Giving be a teddy like bear that. hug. You're right. Yeah. I'm not going to be no, like that. No, but you Tara. are though. I'm not going to be you like are, that. Though. It's going to be definitely oh. cordial, but I'm not going to be disrespectful. Who I beef, you should not have an issue. Not cordial, with. not cordial. Cordial is a drink you drink. Like lime cordial. Mm. Cordial. Listen to me. Who I beef has nothing who to do... Who you beef with who I beef, me. period. Who I beef All I has need nothing... in this life of me, I'm a... Because I'm a ride or die. Tara, who I beef has I'm nothing to do... I'm a bunny to your client. You're going to shut up. Thank Watch you. yourself. Thank you. I told you you're too fresh, you know. If you I let me speak, like the comment said... Oh, what? If I beef someone, it has nothing to do with you. Adrian, you don't beef no, no one. You're just the happy Winnie the Pooh bear. <laughs> like, you don't beef no one. And I'm not saying that you should beef anyone. But Adrian just walks around with his thick self. Hey, you oh, okay? Thick. Hey, you okay? Oh, everything is great. Jesus is great. All things are good. <laughs> That's what you do. Someone G-checked so you this morning so, so and you didn't say a word to them. Oh, that was a G-check. Wow. That is crazy. Did you not get G-checked this morning? So where was, your, where was my ride or die? Huh? 
Ah, você acabou de falar? Hã? Hã? Ah, você acabou de falar? 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 Hã? Ah, Normally I say a word, Agent's like, Agent's like, Tara, stop talking. Rubbish. Tara, stop talking. No, no, no. Tara, You've stop got talking. free reign. I've got free reign to Do talk you now. Think, my girl. Mad. Do you know what's so crazy? Agent will tell me more time. He'll be like, baby, right, be quiet. So, right. Let me it's, talk. No, you don't really need to. I don't want to hear it. I, what about when your mum was beefing me? You didn't have no energy for her. I did. What no, do you she, mean? No, nah, boss. I still married you. Just about. No, I actually walked down the aisle and married you. It wasn't just about. I was very firm about my decision and we got married. Did nah, we not? No, nah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, that wasn't the energy that I got. H are you stupid? Firm about marrying. I was firm about marrying. Nah, are you stupid? Boss. I'm not stupid. You know I was what? There. Oh I was my there. gosh. Lord, we need marriage there. counseling after this because to play I'm the like, DVD, this is the, crazy. the wedding video when you was like looking around. Listen. Your oh. mum was trying to beef me when we were trying to what get married. What do you married. mean wedding video looking around? Your aunt pulled you back in the registry office when they was like, can you do your vows? His aunt pulled him back. I said, Adrian, you sure you want to do this? Adrian, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. During the wedding. Is that not crazy? Does she love you? Does my mum love you? Answer the question. Does my mum love you? No, answer the question. The answer to both of those questions is no, yes. No. Does my, does my aunt love you? Adrian, did she pull you back? Did, did she say, Adrian, are you my, sure? Yes, no. my aunt did that, but All does right. she love you? Yes, she does. does did my your mum beef you? me? She my did mom, beef you. My aunt didn't beef you. My mum did beef she you. She asked me a question. She didn't my beef, did you. beef you. My mum did beef you. Right. Yes, yeah, she did. Where was the energy? Adrian, my right I was die? firm with my mum. What are you talking... The fact that we're married, yeah? Because, listen, when my mum says jump, I say how high. That's the reality, yeah? When my mum says you're not doing something at my big grown age at 22, I was like, okay, fine. I won't do it. That's what it is. My mum, not going to lie, had me on lock. She had me on lock. 100% at 22. Tari needs to be home by 11 o'clock because I'm locking up the house. What? I have keys. I was still home by 11 o'clock. She had me on lock. My mum said to me, Tara, I'm not coming to your wedding. I said, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'm still getting married. I'm still getting married. So if you don't want the invitation, I could take it back and someone else could fill your place. So let's not. What do you mean? No, Let's I'm not. not I definitely had your back. And my mum loves one, you. My mum just time. wanted my mum just wanted to protect her daughter because she's seen what a bad marriage can do. And she wanted to protect her daughter. And she went into full blown rage mode because she had to protect me. And that's just what it is. I don't think you should G check someone for me. No, I'm not asking you to fight my battles. Yes, you do. I'm not asking you to fight my battles. What I'm saying is I expect you to tone down your niceness a bit. Like, yo, you good? Still be, yeah, still, yo, okay. you good? I agree with but that. But you don't but do you... that. Can you agree? No, I you do don't do that. Do that. All right. When I was best friends with someone and they did what they did, yeah, yeah disrespectful as hell, yeah. yeah, you would still hug them and be like, hey. No, I wouldn't. I would talk to them, yes. I would greet them, yes. But I'm not going to give the same energy because I'm not beefing them. I wasn't them. asking you to give the same energy. You but definitely you were, were back pally, then. Pally. Do you remember? You were definitely asking for me to give the same energy. All right, did you see, you know, Nicki, and, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, they beef, yeah? Mm -hmm. Their husbands are beef, well, Nicki Minaj's husband's beefing. Offset's like, what is he talking about? Don't ever get involved in gadding because you look like an idiot. He looks like an idiot. I hear it because I do also have a friend whose husband used to get involved in, in business yeah. and he looked weak. I understand that. I'm not saying to get involved in my beef. I'm not saying to get involved in the issue. What I'm saying is tone it down. Tone it down. You can't okay. be happy-go-lucky Adrian with them. Yeah. It's like, no, 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 there's something going on between you and my wife. I'm going to tone it down a little bit. Yo, yeah, you good? I, 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 I agree. And you should do it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And he should do it. And I'm glad we've got evidence. Ain't nothing but the good vibes. We met each other in our teen time. Since then we got saved, engaged, had them not displayed our love through married life. Meet the force, that's our tagline. Like, comment on our journey and subscribe. Welcome back to another episode of True Talk with the Forbes. I'm your host, Adrian. And I'm the better host, Tara. As you can see, we've got some new lights in here. It's mm -hmm. looking real podcasty because we're on, podcasters man. in them things now. We're, we're professionals We're now. professionals now. Right, Do you listen, know what I'm saying? Before we move on, what have you got on feet today, babe? I have on... What have I got on feet today? Yes. On feet. Listen. What have I got on my feet today? What have you got on your teeth? Grills. Mm, okay. I love them so much. David hates them. It's fine. David is our producer, if you don't know. He hates them. Today he said to me, as soon as he saw me, he said, mm -hmm, hi, 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 take them out. <laughs> take them out. I think they look good. You love them, no? 
Cute. See, he likes uh, guys. I told you, he likes the rough side of Torah. Listen, what you got on feet today? Um, what have I got on feet again? I beg you, just answer the question. Oh, the speech impediment is wild. What have you got on feet? That's what you say as a trainer connoisseur. Is that what you say? Have you ever heard that before, David? Sure. Exactly. What have I got on my feet today? I've got the black suede Bapesters. They are black. They are gorgeous. I love them. I love them. I think you wore these in the last episode, maybe. I can't remember. Maybe. I've worn them um, before. They just look really good on my foot. I actually love them. I love Bape. What do you love about them? The star. The star? The star. Wow. No, I'm joking. Do you know what it is? They're Bapes. They copy um, Air Forces. And I'm an Air Force babe. They get a lot of... Um, what's the word? I don't know. They get Ooh. inspiration. Okay. Does this not look like an Air Force One? I don't know. You don't know if it looks like an Air Force no, One? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's got the same silhouette, yeah. Exactly. So what are you acting for? Well, not every day difficult, man. No, I love them. They look good on my feet. Um, and what ape shall never kill what ape. What does that mean? Ape shall never kill ape. Yeah, what does it mean? Why are you saying that? Because ape shall never keep, ape, kill ape. Mm. What does it mean? I don't know. So don't ask me questions you don't know then. <laughs> you said it. Idiot. What have you got on your foot? <laughs> I've got, and I'm going real South London today. I've got a pair of 95s, or I used to call them 110s. When I was younger. Why were they called 110s? Because they cost £110. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I like these kicks because they just remind me of old school, like South London. When I was growing up, all the bad boys had these trainers. I couldn't afford them at the point. He was also a church boy, so he was and, like a bad um, boy, so I guess that's... Yeah. They're just nice. So these like, are just like a, what a kind triple, of... triple blue. They've got three different blues on them. One part's leather, one part's uh, nubbuck, one part's suede. Nubuck. Um, you've had your chance. Oh, Nubuck. You had your chance, yeah. <laughs> Nubuck. <laughs> <laughs> Nubuck. <laughs> Nubuck. But yeah, sure. If me and someone have got a problem, yeah, because if it's a mate, me and my mates are able to resolve it, yeah? Mm. But if I'm going for an issue with a person and I see you nice to them up and being like, nice and friendly Adrian all the time, yeah? There's been many a time where I've wanted to G-check you at that moment and be like, don't chat to them. Like, are you crazy? G-check you. Have whatever. No, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. I said yeah. G-check you. I wouldn't yeah, but I'm about... saying like, babe, G-check. Come on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. G-check. Never... Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not the right approach. So do you think it's wrong to G-check your partner in public? 100%. I, uh, 100% to an extent, yeah? Because it, I think it depends on the situation. Is it detrimental for then and then, then and now? Even uh, if I were to G-check you, I wouldn't do it in front of everyone. I'd call you away and then speak to you. Have I G-checked you in front of people? Bare times. And you don't like it? Way too many times for my liking. And I hate it, I tell you every time. But I don't G-check you, like, I don't badge you up. I'm just no, like, but it's like, Adrian, you make, stop. You make the situation worse by coming and... I think, to be fair, I make the situation worse by just breathing for you sometimes. No. Well, yeah. You can breathe over there, but it's not going to affect me. But you're breathing here on me while so I'm how should, in... So how should I G-check you then? The approach that you how need to... How should I speak to you? Yeah, the approach that you need to come to is with this energy. Babe, can I just... Just like I'll do to you. But that's a lie. Because if I say, babe, will I, you say, wait. So that's not going to be every time. But yeah, there are times when it is that. What time? And if... No, it's not more... Whenever it is, yeah, it's never it's never gonna be the same all the time. But if I've told you to wait, then you have gotta take that and just be like, or the situation is just gonna get worse. Not that I'm gonna be in beef, but it's gonna be like it's obviously a heated debate or a heated conversation. I'm never gonna get into a fight. If if I'm going to have a fight, then you can jump in. But it's usually with friends. Okay. Like it's not ever that deep. It's never that deep. So like. There should be no reason for you. If I've said wait, you've got to wait. Would you rather tell, I wouldn't say G-check, but speak to you in the car after yeah. the situation's happened? Yeah. See, I'm a man that, I'm all about how it looks. I do not like my stuff outside. Like, I like privacy. So even if we're having an argument, I don't want to have an argument in front of people. I'd rather have an argument in the car or, or at home. And I always tell you that. I think it's, distasteful when people argue with other people, I just think. But when, I've, when I have pulled you up in the car, mm -hmm. you you act like a strong back donkey. What do you mean? Stubborn, you still won't hear it. Why won't I hear it? Because you don't. 
You don't hear oh, it. But I've still got my opinion, so you can still do it. But if I don't agree, that, what, you want to just be a robot? No, if I G-check you. But why are you G-checking me? You're just talking to me. Should I G-check you in front of people? You do sometimes. I've never done that, ever. I've never, ever done that. Because I don't want you to get be- get embarrassed. Did you? I've never, ever, ever. This ever. guy. You couldn't, you couldn't bring a situation up like a scenario. I've never G-checked you so in front of no one. I continuously G-check you and you've never G-checked me. Yeah. Adrian, you have been in situations where you're wrong. Yeah, yeah? facts. And I've been like, just stop, Adrian. Just stop in front of people. I'll be like, just stop. Exactly, so that's the problem. You've already come so on the how wrong... should I? how should I Approach deal with this it. situation? Like you keep labba, labba, labba in your mouth. Yeah, but I've never been a labba, labba, labba. Oh my gosh, when Adrian's on, when he's on... On a subject, and he doesn't want to come off it, you will labber labber your mouth. I won't. Oh my Trust gosh. Me. You just got a fear that I'm gonna do that. It never I'm not Adrian, that you guy. Do. I'm not I'm not wired like that. Once you get there, you get there. Am Tara. I lying? Tell me I'm not telling the truth right now. You're not telling the truth. That's wild. It's it's, it's a, that's crazy. It's a fear that you have. No. Hey Josh. Sorry, are you free? Hello? Have have you got a second? Okay, we're on the podcast, yeah? I'm putting you on loudspeaker, yeah? As, guys, this is Josh, one of Adrian's closest friends. Josh, (laughs) Josh, Josh, when Adrian has a point to prove and you guys are having a conversation, is he able, are you able to get him off the conversation? He'll just keep going and keep going and keep going. No one can stop him. Yeah, till his point is proven, yeah, for sure. Right. And even if you say... Adrian, I understand. I hear what you're saying. Adrian will say, no, 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 no. And keep talking a lie. Yeah. <laughs> See? Because Adrian's strong. He's strong and wrong sometimes. He's strong and wrong sometimes. So, Josh, he's just sat here and said that he isn't wrong. When he's, when, no, I basically said, we're I... talking about G-checking your partner, yeah? And Adrian is saying, yeah. when he, when I'm, when I'm like, Adrian, stop, stop. Because you've been there when I'll say, Adrian, stop, just stop, man. Just stop. Yeah. And he won't stop. He's saying that he doesn't labba labba his mouth. He just, he just, he doesn't offend anyone. Does he offend people when he talks sometimes, Josh? When he's proving a point? Sometimes. And sometimes he doesn't even know it. But yeah, yeah. I'd be like, I'd be like, Adrian, ooh. Thank you. Calm down. Thank you. Did you not plan this before? No, we didn't plan this. I love you. I love you, Age. I love you, man. It's gone, man. Thank you so much, Josh. By the way, guys, this is Josh who created the beat for the intro of this podcast and Meet the Forks. So big up yourself, large up yourself. Thank you, Josh. I'm going to call you after. No problem. Hey, I love you, man. Don't, yeah, don't, man. don't, don't, don't come at me, please. <laughs> Later. Later. Bye. His own friend that you went to school with. Been friends since how old? 10. 10. How old are you? 35. That's 25 years of friendship. I told you guys, I'm not lying. No, but listen. listen no, listen you can't me. say nothing All after right, that. Listen to what I'm saying. He can't, listen to what he I'm can't saying. say nothing after that. All right, cool. You can't say nothing after that. Right. Bro, he's hurt. He's upset. I'm not upset. Do you want me to call Conan? No. Listen Do you want me to, to call Christian? Listen to what I'm saying. I'll call them all now. I'll call them all now. Go on. Right. I said, I can, I'm not always right. Mm-hmm. I said, I'm right often. More than you. <laughs> you will go into a conversation many a times, yeah, having offended someone and been oblivious, just like Josh said I was. So you're the same as me? Listen, what I'm saying is you do it more often. And I'm not oblivious, I know what I'm doing. So if you know what you're doing, so that means you're actively choosing to be that rude. I'm actually choosing violence, absolutely. Fair. Well, and this is why, for me, I'm like, there's times when I'm saying I should G check you, but, but I don't, it, I don't, I won't. The approach is not to embarrass you. But you just, but the your point. Your intention. But you're, you're going wait, back to. Don't, hey, touch hey, don't touch me. Don't take my word. Listen, don't touch me. Don't, don't touch move me. your hand. Listen, move your listen, hand. But listen move. to what I'm saying then. Move. When I'm in a conversation, or if I'm, you know, talking, you'll find it to involve yourself to be like, stop, stop, stop. Guys, you did, you, it, did you see how you it's. Make it bigger than it no, needs to be. No, Adrian, your friend. <sighs> Babe. You, Guys, you know, here's the my approach. point. Here's no, 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 no. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. Uh, um, can you just come in a minute? Adrian, I've done that. No, no. Yeah, if I'm talking. Then no, I'm exactly. talking. So then I'm leave talking. It. And then you keep so then going. Leave it. So how do I stop you? You can't. So it what you're saying is you're unteachable. So no, I can't talk to no, you. No, So when you're doing something, I can't pull you up on it. If I'm in a heated discussion, 
Let that man have a heated discussion. I'm a man. But Let if me I'm do a heated discussion, doing. I can't have a heated discussion. But, yeah, because you offend. But you offend. Josh just said that. You offend, Adrian. Listen, I've told you what to do, innit? That's, look at the stubbornness. Stubbornness. This is what I have to deal with. I just told you, don't Adrian, do it. You're saying I'm still going to do it. Adrian, I just said, what do I do? Well, what I you're said, saying is there's no resolution for it. I should just let no, you do what I, you want to do. It depends on the situation. Bro. If it's heated, let it be heated. But Guys, bearing in mind, oh, here's oh. why it's different. Guys can have a heated discussion and not beef. Women, you do not, you, it's like you can't do that. If you have a heated discussion, that's it. I've got a, I've got a, you're in, you're in violence. You're Adrian, on violence. Like, Adrian. Why can't you just be chilled? Adrian. Adrian. The way that he's moving this subject along, yeah, is wild to me. Because I said that Adrian, he, when I'm he's having an argument, he turns into Labba Labba Mouth. He said he don't turn into Labba Labba Mouth. Josh just said he turns into Labba Labba Mouth. You're, you're, just you're, just you're just chat, no, chat, chat. You're just chat, chat, chat. You're chatting rubbish. Josh has agreed that. No, I also it. said that Adrian is stubborn. Once he's he got a point to prove... Do you know what, guys? Adrian's hurt that, right now. He's hurt. I'm not hurt. He's I'm hurt. Just, He's I'm hurt. Like, look. He's hurt. You're stubborn. I'm a you guy. will not come up a point. And I'm a woman. What does that mean? And I'm telling. Look. Do you want? Do you want to learn here? Adrian, you're not teaching me anything. That's you're the teaching. Problem. You're, you're teaching me that you're stubborn and your you're unteachable. Pig-headedness. No, your pigheadedness. No, because your I head just is told tough. Because you. you don't listen. He just said. He just. I said. What do I do? Instead of G checking you, then what do I do? He said. All right. Just tap me on the shoulder and say, like, babe, can you come help me with this? I've done that before. He said, mm-hmm. don't touch me. Leave me. I'm talking. I'm talking. Just wait. I'm talking. Yeah. Wait. So I've said. Wait. Exactly. Wait. I'm talking. Oh, clearly you're making it worse. No, but so I'm saying. No, if hold you're on. So- shush, shush, Labba. I say to him. <laughs> I say to him. I say to him. He's having an intense um, disagreement. I'm sorry. Do you know how what, annoying that is? He just said. Yeah. He just said. Yes. Tap me on my shoulder. Yes. And say, can I help you with something? So shush. He's running his mouth. <sighs> Can I just borrow you for I a sec? You stop tapping. Me. That's what he did. He not just tell me to tap him. Yes, and you're saying. Oh I'm already- my gosh! I just said, what do I do? He said, tap me on the shoulder and tell me to come out and help you with something or ask me a question. Sorry, babe. Can I just borrow you for a sec? He just said it's annoying. When I've done that before, he goes, wait. Sh- Wait, Tara. I'm talking, Tara. I've asked him, what do I do if you're going off on one? How to stop you? This man has told me what to do. I've just initiated that and showed it. He said, don't touch me. That's annoying. But that's what you just told me to do. So what do I do? I sit down and make you look like a fool. I allow yourself to look like you're... I allow you to look like a fool. All right. I think that's what you need to do then. Allow you I've to look like learn, a fool. I've you're unteachable. No. You're I've unteachable. And the fact that your How wife can't speak you into your life teachable? is unteachable. How about Why you should I be teachable, teachable if you can't be teachable? Tara, you're I'm not teachable. telling you what to do. You're not te- and I'm telling me. you. I'm telling you what to do with He me. told me what to do with him. No, and then I done it. And then he told me... You're not listening. David, sorry. David, no. sorry. No, no, no. I'm talking How saving out. Shush. shush. You know, you shush. David, he has just told me what I need to do. I just done it. That's he yeah. said it's annoying. Ask don't David. do it. Ask he David. said it's annoying. Don't do it. No, that's not what Is that not what he's just saying? I've said. Here's, here's, he, he's no, but listen. Head. If you just listen. Oh, my if gosh. You shut the labba, have, labba, mouth. Labba. Here's, here's the approach. Don't G-check me. Okay. Listen. Don't G-check me. Tap me on the shoulder. If it's obviously got worse, then leave me. That is it. Okay, I've tapped you on your shoulder. And have I walked? Have, have, have I? You've never left. You've said wait. Okay. I'm talking. So then you wait. And what t- is it you want? I don't understand. That's the approach. If you come at me when I've said wait, it's going to make it worse. People that, guys. Wait, we, one second. No. If you say to me, if I come to you and give you a hug, you're like, I don't want to be touched. Should I keep hugging you? No, because I didn't ask you to hug me. Right. You just told me to tap you right. and ask you to come outside. Right. It's not the same. And, and you hugging same, me, Tara, I'm not making a fool you of say... you. In front. I'm, not, I'm not making a fool of myself for you hugging me to stop. You make a fool of yourself sometimes when you're arguing That's so much. It's your opinion. It's your opinion. Do you know what? I've got to learn, haven't I? I? I yeah, but you, you won't. If you're not if it's, learning. If it's such so a... If, 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 the if thing I'm making, is, stop talking. If I'm making such a fool of myself, then I would have to learn. Oh my gosh, can I talk? I mean, you've definitely been speaking. You'll hear in the comments. Watch. All right, we get it. The comments, the comments. All right. Adrian has told me what to do. The thing that he told me to do, he just told me not to do. What I'm saying is, he's telling me what I should. He can talk to me. He can say, no, let me pull you up for a second. So if we're going to do that, because the kind of character I'm, if we're going to do that, you can tell me 
You can tap me. If I'm going through something and I'm arguing with someone or having a disagreement, you tap me, you pull me out, right? That's what you said. That's what you would do, right? And you expect me to follow you. Yeah. yeah, I won't because he won't follow me. Well, that's the problem. So, no, 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 no. It doesn't matter. But no, I'm telling you, I am. But that's your problem. I am doing it. Yeah, but I am that's doing very it. Immature. Because you're unteachable. You're immature. It's immature. You can't follow it's instruction. A I'm a man. Me. I'm having a conversation because yeah. I'm a man. Yeah. You oh, by the way, me, you're a woman. You asked me the best approach. <sighs> And I'm telling you, there the best is no approach. approach of you. You're not listening. You're unteachable. This is the problem. You're this is why you can't communicate. You're, you're a stiff necked donkey. You're stiff necked. He's stiff necked. You can't communicate. And he's tough headed. All right. All right. Your friend said you can't. You you, but you can't communicate. I can phone your friends right now. Call them. And they'll give you the lowdown. Cool. 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 Don't let me do this. Go on, go, you, bad, you know? go, go on, bad man. Cool. Let's, let's think. Who's. Cool. Cool. No problem. Cool. You sure you want this? Cool. All right. Cool. Take it off loudspeaker first because they might not want to be on the podcast. So ask them if it's okay. So I mean, he's always putting people on blast. Man ain't you got just a clue. Tried to put me on blast. Ain't got a clue. Ain't got a clue. What do you mean? Ain't got a clue. I haven't got he's a clue. He's the about most what? unteachable person that you will meet. I hear you. Not that's answering. You. Oh, that's mad. It's your friends. They're not answering. Oh. Guess we should move on to the next subject then, seeing as they're not answering. Oh, she just texted me, so one sec. It's the fact that he's grinning. I'm confused. <laughs> Adrian, you're sending a monologue. No. You're sending a monologue. I just said I wanted to get your opinion on something. It's cool. But I, I can't get through to your friends anyway. But um, hey, what? I've just given you the he's not giving me any instruction on how to deal with it he's told me to leave him alone that's what no, you told me to say in certain so the answer to the question is for in me certain situations for him he see, can g check me listen. but i can't g check him that's the that's the answer no Tara. yeah that's that's not you should that's the this. answer in situations actually no, no approach me if i've then said what you need to do is also look at the situation as i said if you approach me and i've said wait then you leave it. But also, who are you talking to? What do you mean, wait? If, I, if I'm not your wife... You until it happens, isn't if it? I'm a, no, I've seen how it goes. Yeah, so And do then it will just come a problem between cares? me and you. Because I've just... I've told you what to do. Proper You're not listening. Unteachable. Unteachable. And that if doesn't I, make if any I, sense. If I can't tell you, then no one that else can tell you. That doesn't make sense, Tara. Right. I've just told you. You're talking to the person. The person is now telling you what to do. You're saying, oh, I'm unteachable. Why is no, that angry? Clearly you're unteachable because you're not listening. You can't give me this. It's stupid. It's immature. Stupid. How would it make you feel if I'm not doing what you're saying? You don't do what I say. Oh. You don't do what I say. What do you mean? You don't do what I say. How does it make you feel? And, and give me an example. My life. That's how it feels. My what life. That's, how, that's it how it feels. My life. My life. You don't listen. You don't listen. You do what you want, and that's no fine. Well, well, that's awkward. I, feel like I might need to call a marriage counselor after this. Find one on Google. Marriage counselor, how to deal with a husband that doesn't listen but wants you to listen. Guys, this is Tara for you. Stubborn ox. Me. You stubborn horse. What are you talking about? You're a stubborn... Guys, no word of a lie. Please, put Literally, in the comments. You, do you know Who sounds are? more stubborn? You're a GBK. A get back kid. Everything I say, you're like, okay, that's why I'm doing it. Oh, yes, well, that's, why, that's why I'm doing this. I said, you're a stubborn horse. You're a stubborn horse. Okay. Well, you are. Just, uh, just Sorry, weird. guys, did you my see... Thing did you, not, did you uh, see my thing is not... Did you see me? My thing is not because of you. It's not like... That's not the circumstance. It's the, the way that he mimics me. Did you see me go... Well, you're a stubborn horse. <laughs> you silly, silly man. I'm not a silly man. You're a silly man. How about... All I'm asking me... is, guys, please go into the comments, yeah, and type who looks more stubborn right now. Me or Adrian. Shush. It's how it, Shush, it is. Shush, lapa lapa. Lapa if lapa. I've, look, I've said, oh here's the approach. Days. Babe, approach me. Don't G-check me. Come to me and say... Babe, can, can I, I speak to you? One you? sec, yeah. One sec, babe. Wait! If it is that, then wait and go away. If it's not, then I'm going to come. Dilemmas of the week. Yeah. Okay. First dilemma is I found out my girlfriend is cheating on me, but she doesn't know that I know. 
but I love her and don't want to leave her, should I still let her know that I know she has cheated on me? Hey, hey, should I still let her know? Bro, listen, I'm just going to put this out there. As a man, I feel that it's way worse when a woman cheats on a man. One, because, as I said, this is my opinion and I'm a man, yeah? We can cheat with no feelings involved. Don't say we. Don't say we. <laughs> I'm not saying don't I. Don't say we can I'm cheat. I'm of this species. Don't say we can I'm that cheat. gender, so don't I can say, speak Just say it. men. Don't say we. Don't say we. You're not a part of the group. I kind of am. I'm not saying I'm a cheater. What I'm saying is I'm a man, babe. Adrian, me and you will fight today, you know. If I say men, am I not a man? Yeah, but it's not saying we. You're not putting yourself in there. Okay. Uh, men. Men can cheat with absolutely... No emotional attachment. None whatsoever. It's just something that is in us that we can just do while still having feelings to the person that we're with. That's that. Sorry, that they are with. Say we one more time. Please say we babe. one. Don't babe me. Say we one you got one, Babe. don't touch me. You have one more try. Say we again. Give me your hand. No. Say why, we why, again. Why am I getting this Say energy? we again. Listen, we can stop doing the dilemm dilemmas if Say we're going to we get again. into a dilemma Say ourselves. Say we again. Say we again. You give know me, better. Give me your hand. No. Give me your hand. No. Why are you beefing me? But we, we can, you think. <sighs> anyway. Listen. Tell her I think you know. It's way worse the reason why you need cheat. to tell no one cares about what you're saying now because you keep saying we. He just said we again. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. It's way worse when women cheat. That's what I said. But you're lucky. So I think you should tell her because if you don't tell her, you're gonna grow animosity towards her. And then do you know when you're gonna say it? You're gonna say it five years later when you decided to marry the woman and she's upset you and you're gonna spit it out then. So better not, don't say it. Say it straight away. A lie? You think he should hold on to it? You should be, he, he should hold on to the revelation that she cheated. And now every time she goes out, she, he's like, is she going out with him? No, say it. I'll be honest, bro. And you got a different type of patience because, big man, if I found out Asia was cheating on me, I can't hold on to that. Well, for, like, it's, it's, it's a problem. I'm bringing that out straight away. I'm not even collecting receipts. Yeah, I just want the one receipt and then... That's what I'm saying. You would need to... Anyway. Guys are more calculated. So obviously this is why he's asked us. This question because he wants our take. Yeah, and I gave my answer. Women, you are more. Here's some information. <laughs> like a dungeon dragon. For someone who's not a woman, Adrian has a lot to say about women. I'm not talking about they. I'm talking about you. How did I get involved in this? You're saying I can't say we. So I'm talking about me. Women. No, I said don't talk about you. Talk about other men. So because from that you've taken, I'm going to talk about you and not other women. So having a uh, 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 an idea it's about calm. women. It's calm. Stop. Some milkshake. I don't um, want none of your milkshake. So yeah. So tell her. Tell her. It depends. Like, tell her. Yeah, tell her. Why would you, you hold know. on to that? Tell tell Why her. Why do you want to be with because her? Because any civic, well, some people forgive people. It depends if they're married or not. Whatever. But what I'm saying is, tell her because do you know what. You're going to hold on to that and it's going to burn you. It's going to burn you on the inside and then you're going to explode eventually. It's just better. Now. It's better just to say, just tell her, be honest. Relationships only work when there's honesty. Not that she, clearly she wasn't honest, but relationships work with honesty. Tell her. So, uh, yeah, speak to her, innit? See what she says. Depending on what she says would probably guide you in your decision. If you're going to stay, if you're going to forgive, if you're going to leave, if you, you know what I mean? Dilemma two. My girlfriend's birthday is coming up and she wants a Louis Vuitton bag that costs 2500 She has been with rappers and footballers before me and I can't afford that. How do I tell her that I can't? Big man, how did you get her in the first place? If but she was used to that lifestyle and then she's with you, were you lying? Were you falsifying what you had? Maybe she's just into you. Why she's does into Agent you, always go so deep? Listen, I'm just trying he to... He always goes so deep. Listen, it's how we think. Okay, not we, them. It's how men think. Um, if <laughs> if you got her, if you got her, 
You got her for a reason. She must know that you can't afford two and a half. Yeah, she must know your lifestyle by now. Or, but there's many girls out there that will ask a man to get a Malou V bag and hope they take Klarna and they can do it in three <laughs> installments. That's the reality. That's what we're living in now. So girls will get a two and a half grand bag if they can get it on Klarna. Don't take a loan out to go broke. It just doesn't make any sense. But I feel like you should just tell her you can't afford it. And you know when they say yesterday's price is not today's price. It's in reverse. That was the price that she had before and now she doesn't have that price. And what you can say is maybe I'll give you some money towards it and then you can put your money towards it or is there anything else you would like to do? Mm. It's a cost of living crisis. Who's buying a two and a half grand bag right now? Also, if she has a problem with you not being able to afford that, maybe the relationship is based on... What she can get. Yeah, materialistic stuff. So send her back to the streets, I suppose. I don't know, man. To the streets? Who said she came from the streets? Listen, babe, she's obviously not for him. If she, look, we don't know what they're in the now. We don't know what his financial status is, but we know it's not as good as the rappers and the footballers. Yeah. And if. So maybe she's just accustomed to that lifestyle. And I hear that. And she's forgot. And she's like, oh yeah, this is what I'd really want for my birthday. And she's just not even thought that he doesn't have the, she knows he hasn't got the money like that, but she's just not sat down and, yeah. Okay. So all he has to do is just open and communicate. Just mm. be like, look, babe, I don't have the money for that. Like I don't. And financially, I don't think that makes sense for me to spend that amount of money. But what else would you like? This is kind of like the, the, the money limit budget that I have. That's wild. How does that work? So instead of two and a half grand, I've got 600 pounds or 500 pounds. Mm. What would you What would you like to do? What kind of gifts would you like in that price range? Communicate. It's not sending her back to the streets. Who do you think you are? I'm saying, Who I'm thinking saying? past that. So I'm saying her response. If she's not like, oh, okay, that's babe, it's cool. I didn't expect you. You know what I mean? If she's like, what? Are you mad? Then yeah, she has to go back to the streets. Who said Respectful. she was on the streets babe. in the first place? Oh, I'm just saying, Lord. if we started dating, you asked me for something. I know that you had a lifestyle before. You're asking me for something that I cannot afford. And I say to you, babe, just be a bit understanding. And you come with the energy of, what? I could get that from... Or, yeah, but no one said that was her Then response. I'm saying I would throw you back to the streets. And what if she had a good response? If she has a good response, it's like, yeah, you're, I so can work with that. So start with that first. Why does she have to go straight to the you streets You already first? gave that opinion. I'm just saying, I'm thinking past that. Adrian, you see how wicked my, you know, wicked youth. Dilemma three. Good one. So, any tips on how to deal with future in-laws who dislike you for no valid reason? For context, their in-laws are not the parents, but a sibling and their spouse. I'm going to be real, yeah? If if your sibling or spouse, or if the sibling, so it would be like, if my sister and her boyfriend didn't like Adrian, yeah, it's mad for you. Because there's one thing your mum telling you something, yeah? It's a different when your sibling tells you something. It's different. So if it was Mads, that would be crazy. Like if they were married and they'd been married longer than us or whatever and they were just like, yo, we just don't like him. I'd be like, why don't you like him? Because I'd take what my sister says. Like I'll be like, that's your sister. That's like your, that's like your bestie. Do you get what I'm saying? And they're saying they don't like, that's more than your mum. Do you know what I mean? I don't even, that's wild. If the sibling and the sibling spouse don't like you, oi, tough. That's a tough nut to swallow. No, I'll be honest, because I've been Pill to swallow. I'm, Why for that? I'm That's not, a tough pill to swallow. You finished? Yeah. I'm not Sorry, with, Poppy, can you take out Why for that? Thank you. I'm not with your sister or her man. Therefore, my in my opinion, their opinion doesn't matter to me. No, but if, if, if they were together longer mm -hmm. and you had come into the family and you were new to the family. Let's, I'm yeah. not talking about my sister yeah. and her boyfriend now, I'm just talking about, you know, whatever. Yeah. And they were together longer, you're mm -hmm. new to the family and they've told me that they don't like you. Yeah. That's going to be hard for you, bro. How yeah. do you navigate that? Remember, the person said for no valid reason. So they can't pinpoint why they don't like him. They just don't like him. So well, then respectfully, to be fair, if they have no valid reason and the girl or the partner likes their partner then it doesn't really stand on anything. You just got to kind of keep it moving and just know that you possibly won't ever get on with them. But I don't know. I don't Here's know. the thing for me, yeah. You've got two options. You've got the option of being Mr. Nice Guy 
and trying to win them over. Which you should do. For the sake of your partner. Yeah. Or you've got Mr. I'm going to show you the same energy you show me. No, we can't do that. We can't do no. I mean, we can. You've got two options. Now, if you're going to go down the line of... Mr. Nice Guy. Mr. Nice Guy, it's obviously going to sweet up your, your, your partner. Yeah. But... You may not get the response that you're looking for from the parties that don't like you. So right. you've got to have thick skin. Yeah. And also, if you go on the response of, I'm going to show you the same energy, you're obviously going to rub things the wrong way in the household. So you might not. If you came into our family, it was moving dark, you would have lost my family. It's done. The relationship probably wouldn't work. Yeah, but then you've got to be like, who who do I want? Do I want I this get relationship? it, but if you're moving mad and you're like, yeah, I'm going to show them the same energy, bad doesn't warrant bad. If they're moving bad, that doesn't mean you should move bad. But remember, this is for no reason. There's no reason that they don't like me. I've got a question. Yeah. How would you view Adrian if the shoe was on other foot and Adrian's sister and uh, her man yeah, didn't like you and Adrian sided with them? How would you feel? We and can't be together. And what would your view of Adrian be? Mar he's a waste man. Huh? He's a waste man and we can't be together. Why am Absolutely. I a waste man? If you're agreeing with your sister, they yeah. don't know why they don't like me. Yeah. yeah. And I'm saying, but Adrian, you can see how the behavior you're like, nah, like, like they're just they just they're just trying to still figure you out or whatever, and you're taking their side. But you got with me for a reason, then and you side with your sister and her spouse, you're a waste man. Because you know why you got with me in the first place. Mm. You know why you got with me in the first place. And because of your sister and her spouse, you're now moving mad. No, he's a waste man. Is it different if the shoe's diff on your foot, if your sister doesn't like Adrian? Your sister and her man doesn't like Adrian and you're siding with your sister. Could Adrian call you a waste man? I definitely could. I think so, you know. It's not a I thing. can't even lie. You are. I hate, yeah. If I'd done that, he could say the same thing. Because it's like, you know why you got with it. Like the same, the point remains the same. I know why you got with me. You know why I got with you. Mm. So how can you be siding with your sister and whatever? Do you get what I'm saying? Well. That's wild. That's wild. You got to decide whether you're, you can't, yeah, no. Nah. If they've got no reason, as they can't put their finger on why they don't like you. I think for the guy, you've got to value, you've got to see who you value. Do you value this person that you're with? If so, you're going to have to make the sacrifices to keep her. Yeah. Um, and then you're probably going to have to, or look, yeah, do what you need to do to keep her, innit? And I would say stay away from the yard. Be the good guy. Don't be the bad man, yeah? No, you'd have to be a bad don't, man. Don't be the person that... If they're moving mad, you move mad because it's just not going to help the situation. And if anything, it's going to put your partner in more hot trouble, hot water, because they're going to have to deal with you and now they have to deal with their siblings and their, their sibling-in-law. It's long. But your just partner be the should good be able guy. To If you can't handle it, keep it moving. That's it. And to be fair, the partner, if your sibling and your, um, your sibling-in-law is moving mad towards your partner and they have no reason why, then respectfully, it's none of their business. You're going to have to put them in their place too. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. That is the end of this episode. For real, already? Yeah, man. It feels like a short I one still today. think I'm going to call the marriage counsellor because. Why? Um, Babe, I'm can feeling... I have your hand, please? No. Babe, can I have your hand? Listen, you know I love you, innit? You know I love you. Do you know I love you? Are you asking a question or are you having a statement? The statement is, you know I love you. A That's a statement. Mark. It's not rhetorical. It's a statement. Do you know I love you? Kind of. I love you. Thanks. That's what you want in my hand for. Adrian, I'm not going to lie. I felt a bit tense this episode. This was this was a very um, yeah, you was uncomical, uncomical um, podcast today episode. But it's fine because, you know, you have your episodes where it's more funny and lighthearted and you have your deeper episodes and stuff like that. Um, my takeaway from today is that, you know... Adrian wants me to listen to him, but he won't listen to me. Um, so my my girls them, large up yourself, yeah. When a man tries to hold you down, say no, 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 no. What? Nope. 
You're not going to hold me down. Just get it. No man is trying to hold down no woman. <laughs> like, no one. I'm joking. What's your takeaway? My takeaway is that communication is best. As you see in here, I tried to communicate something which I thought was excellently communicated, but it didn't come across like that. No, not at all. And I've also learned that I'm not always right. But I still feel what? that I'm right often more than you. Of course, of course you would. But now I've got in my head that you and my friend have conspired that, yeah, sometimes I'm wrong and strong. I've never, I've never spoken so to I'm Josh gonna about be, this. So I'm going to be tactful in the way I speak and how I speak. Good. So I hope that you now would take on what I've said. Maybe. About your approach. Maybe. Right. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for walk- watch it, walking. It's gone. <laughs> watching my this week's episode it has been a, a, it's been a roller coaster it's been an experience i can't lie i'm tired i'm tired yeah but thank you so much for tuning into this week we are appreciating all the love that we're receiving from you guys leave the comments down here and if you don't follow us on social media you can find us on all social media platforms or our meet the thoughts as in th